All right, today we're going to do lesson 68. And we are going to talk about how to divide mixed numbers. All right, real quick a review. Number one, you have to do how to do you have to know how to change a mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay? So I have four and one half. Four basically represents two halves plus two halves plus two halves plus two halves. Okay? You have the halves and the halves nots. Just kidding. That was a bad joke. Anyway, so 1, 1, 1, 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 4. So that 4 represents this expression here. Okay. Then, if I have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, that's basically 2 times 4. So I'm going to say 2 times 4 equals 8. Then I have this extra half right here. So I have 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8 halves plus this half right here. So that's a total of 9 halves. OK, that is changing a mixed number to an improper fraction. I call it the backward C because I start at the bottom. I go backwards up to the top. A lot of people say, oh, it's a regular C. And I also call impro improper fractions big on top, little on bottom. Fat belly, skinny legs, whatever helps kids remember. OK. So there's number one, the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know is how to divide regular fractions. Let's say you have one half divided by three fourths. Okay? That's basically saying how many three fourths can fit into one half. Just a second. One, two, three. How many three fourths can fit into that right there? Okay? Well, this is clearly bigger than there, so none of them can. So I'm basically taking one half and dividing it by three fourths. So the answer of this division problem, the quotient, is going to be um, something that's less than one. So I'm going to keep, change, flip, which is really multiply by the multiply by the reciprocal. So it's going to be one half times, multiplying by the reciprocal, 4 thirds. Okay? You can cross cancel. That'll be 2 over 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. So your answer there is 2 thirds. Remember how I said that would be less than 1? That's because 3 fourths can't fit into 1. Hopefully the visual helps. If it doesn't, just learn the algorithm, and eventually the theory and the conceptual logic behind this will come to you. So just you learn the algorithm now. All right, so those are the two things you have to know. Now, I'm going to combine these two concepts into one larger concept. Um, but before I do, Israel wants to come over here, and he wants to say hi to my wonderful class. So come on up here, Israel. Hello, Mr. Mazan's class. Israel does good work. No, it, he's shooting rubber bands in class, Israel. No shooting rubber bands. Okay, run along. i got to finish this video. Okay, so I am now going to take this, and I'm going to change it to problem number three. Let's say you have four and one half, and we're going to divide that by two and one half. All right. Is this, can you guys see this? Let me move this a little further forward. All right. So first step, you cannot divide these two. You can't do key change flip. You can't. Okay, so first off, you can't divide these two. You can't do key change flip until you, you uh, change these two improper fractions. So I'm going to change this to an improper fraction. That's the same one we just did. We're just taking 2 times 4, and then that will be 8 plus this 1 left over, which will be 9 halves. Okay, then I'm going to do backward C for this one. Notice how I'm writing the improper fractions directly below. You should do that as well. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 there is going to be 5 halves. Then you bring the division sign down. Now I have two improper fractions. Hey, now you can do your multiply by reciprocal. Keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. Keep the okay? change, you filthy animal. That's what some people say. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Uh, Home Alone's a great movie. Anyway, so we're going to go 9 halves times 
two fifths. Oh, and look at this. Isn't that wonderful? Those two cross cancel. So all we have left is nine fifths. And then you simply do top divided by bottom. Or if you can do that in your head, you know that that's one and four fifths. All right, hopefully that makes sense. All right, number 14 on your homework. Three and one third divided by one and one half. This is basically what we learned today. Back to C. Three times three is nine plus one will be 10 thirds, okay? Then I'm gonna divide that by this. Two times one is two, plus one is three. Then the two comes straight down. Some people say, oh, I can cross cancel. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not so fast. You gotta keep it, change it, and flip it. You can't cross cancel when you're dividing. But you can cross cancel, keep that the same, when you are multiplying. But in this case, nothing cross cancels. So you just multiply across. 10 times two is 20. Three times three is nine. And then you do top divided by bottom, or in and out method. 20, which is in, nine, which is out. Nine will go into 20, two times. Two times nine is 18. 20 minus 18 is two. Two and two ninths would be your answer. All right, there's the lesson.